The musky lunge is also known as the musky or musky nonch. They are large, relatively uncommon freshwater fish of North America exclusively. Musky are the largest member of the pike family Asocidae. The name comes from the French word meaning ugly pike. Like other pikes, the body plan is typical of ambush predators with long body, flat head and dorsal. Muscular length is between 60 and 150 centimeters and weight sometimes over 30 kilograms. Muskies prey upon anything that fits in the mouth. Most of the prey is fish, but it also includes crayfish, frog, ducklings, snakes, mice and so on and so on. But the main diet consists of fish. The mouth is large with many large and hairy like teeth. Muskies will attempt to take their prey head first, sometimes in a single gulp. They will take prey items that are up to 30% of their total length. In the spring, they tend to take smaller bait as their metabolism is slower and large bait in the fall prior to winter. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, well, you already know we are in Wisconsin, not part of Wisconsin, but exactly where we are, our new friend, John, his guide, he's gonna tell us where we are exactly. It's kind of Indian territory. We're on the Chippewa Flowage, and this is a world famous muskie lake. It was created in 1923 by the building of a dam on the Chippewa River, which is about five miles down. And this is a 12 mile by nine mile man-made reservoir mm -hmm. and ever since it was created in the 1920s it's become a world-class fishery. Uh, we're famous for the world record muskie uh, was caught right out here in these waters back in 1949. Uh, how big was it? That was 69 pounds 11 ounces oh, gosh. and there st still are fish that size swimming in this lake and that's what I'm always dreaming of hooking into is one of those great big fish. Yeah well, and we're gonna use very small lures you know <laughs> well, <laughs> like, like, like this. Uh, this is uh, oh, this uni the, very unique one. This yeah. is the type of thing that we like to use, especially in the fall. You jerk these baits, and they they dart through the water, and they create a real erratic action, and the fish get triggered, and they uh, will grab it. This uh, has been grabbed many times. You can oh, see gosh. all the teeth marks. Okay, so let's go for musky hunt. Okay. Why did you choose this spot particularly? This is a good fall spot. This is a big uh, deep lake uh, basin right here. It's 35 feet deep. Mm -hmm. All the deep water comes right up to here and there's a, a nice shallow bar with stumps and weeds right here. Mm -hmm. So the fish will come up out of the deep and it'll hang up on the edge of this bar. So the edge of the bar is good and then the shoreline is a deep shoreline. Yeah. It's a, a rock wall that drops into the lake. And that's the secret with fishing is knowing the structure. Yeah. Wherever you're fishing, you want to know what's under the bottom of the lake or under the water yeah. so you can fish it productively and not waste time. Oh, great. They call the muskie the fish of 10,000 casts. Sometimes it seems like that, other times they're hitting and you can get two and two casts. So they're very unpredictable fish. 
Well, John, uh, we just changed to a different uh, spot. Right. Why? Well, we worked the area over uh, thoroughly and clean, and if there's nothing there, then you move on to another spot. This is a small island. It's got a small little weed corner oh, off of see. here. It's got a deep water shoreline along the front of the island, then there's a long bar running off to the right side of the island. I caught a muskie on this spot once in 1980 that was photographed for an ad for the state of Wisconsin and the ad was actually seen in Time Magazine, Newsweek, Harper's, Atlantic Monthly. So as far as I know, that's probably the most widely seen muskie ever in the world, as far as in print. Uh, do you have a feeling that uh, each muskie has uh, his own territory? So it's moving just a bit around the territory uh, to a shallower or a deeper water. Now muskies migrate a lot. They travel around. Each of these spots is kind of like uh, uh, favorite restaurants to a muskie, you know, and uh, kind of like us, you know, we'll, we'll travel around, we'll stop in at a restaurant, we'll eat, and then we'll move on. The next day we might end up at a different restaurant. So we will move once again. This is uh, like a calmer place, you know, with less wind. Uh, any particular reason? Well, it's just one of my fall spots. It's a rock point that extends out about 40 yards, and it's a good fall spot. Uh, it's a quieter spot with the wind that we have, so it's a little more comfortable to fish. Um, so it's uh, definitely a worth, worthwhile place to try. Okay. Fish was following my lure and uh, just very close to the boat. Okay. Hit my lure. Beautiful. Ah, it's not bad at all. Good job. We got him! We got him! Hey! All right, congratulations! You're buying the beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is handmade by a friend of mine, Marvin Eisenbaum, and Marvin is a guide in Kentucky, yep. and he makes these. He calls them musky dusters, and I want to give this as a gift to you. This is a bait you caught your musky on, so you yeah. have to keep that. Congratulations! Yeah. Looks like about 35 inch. Oh! Nice. Now be careful uh, if he if he. Flinches, throw them out in the water. Don't let them fall in the boat. Okay, goodbye. See you next time when you uh, grow up to 60 pounds. <laughs> there he goes. Look at that. Okay. Congratulations, Rod. Yeah, Good very job. Much. Thanks All very right. much. A successful day on the water. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I have to highlight with this fantastic, really fantastic, world class St. Croix rod. St. Croix. Three piece St. Croix rod. Uh, that handled the fish beautifully. Yeah, did you First, see? I think it was partially the angler though, too. <laughs> well, uh, just a bit. Yes. Just a bit. All right. Oh, that was great. It's always fun. You get to ring the muskie bell, too. We have a tradition at the resort when you catch a muskie, you ring the muskie bell and you let everybody at the resort know a muskie was caught. Oh, <laughs> what is the bell? At the resort. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, John, I have to thank you very much for your hospitality, but one, I have to emphasize one more thing. Thank you for keeping that uh, muskie for me. Oh, well, I've got uh, names to some of the muskies, but to be honest, I didn't know this one was here. <laughs> well, did you train them to, to uh, hit my lure? No, he, uh, oh. you enticed it all on your own. Oh. Uh, I had nothing to do with it.